Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of BGC Dreams. This is Jay, and I'm standing here on the corner of Fifth Avenue. The weather today is actually quite gorgeous, and it's still really early in the morning. So what do you guys say? Are you ready for another walking tour? Stay tuned. Hey guys, good morning. Jenny, where are we headed today? Um, somewhere far. <laughs> I'm already sweaty. Not very far. We're just going to actually head over to McKinley West to show you guys some more of Fort Bonifacio. Let's go. But before we get started, we first actually wanted to show you this residential condo project right behind us right here. Some which, elegant condo. Yeah, it's called Aurelia Residences. So this is probably the most high end of the high end that's still under construction and in development in BGC. With that said, as we've mentioned in previous vlog episodes, BGC is pretty much built out and fully constructed, which is actually what's prompting us today to head over to McKinley West. We should have gotten that. Uh oh. Okay, so we're just gonna walk straight down. <laughs> we're just gonna walk straight down Fifth Avenue. I'm curious, like, just how much these cost. <laughs> <laughs> but this is uh, this is not BGC anymore, right? But this is still Fort Bonifacio. That's also a good question. I don't really know if this is still technically considered BGC because Aurelia is right there, which yeah. is across the street. From McKinley Parkway, the, the road, but it's still technically BGC. So this uh, might still be the, the border. I will say it's nice that this whole walkway is shaded. I know. There's like trees everywhere. So even on a really hot day like today, um, you don't really notice it as much. I wish I brought my shades and my hat though. <laughs> We've now reached the first intersection since we started walking. And although I would love to read the name of the streets for you, I don't actually see any signs up. I just know we're still on Fifth Avenue here. And we now know the name of the nice shiny condos we were looking at. I keep checking in each side. There's really no signs. Luckily, we're just going straight, so not a big deal for today. And one thing Jenny and I noticed is there are some really nice balconies back there, right? Yeah, they're huge. I actually saw a granny doing her plants, and she, it looks like she's enjoying a lot. Yeah, and one of the beauties of living, I guess, this far outside of BGC, and you'll see even more as we head towards McKinley West, is your view starts to get better and better. Yeah, there's no obstruction. Yeah, there's no like tall skyscraper buildings next to you. Yeah. So when you kind of look out into the distance, you probably just see, like Jenny said, clear unobstructed sky. Yeah, but, but I think one good thing inside BGC though is you get the city lights. Like if you're into city lights, then yeah, you'll enjoy, you'll definitely definitely enjoy uh, BGC. But yeah, if you like the naturey thing, then outside BGC is perfect. There is another BGC sign right here. So I guess that actually clarifies things and it lets us know that we were actually still in BGC this entire time. Jay, this area looks familiar. This is actually the route we took when we headed back from our last walking tour to uh, Venice Grand Canal Mall. So we're actually just stepping over here to the sidewalk again. But this time we're just going to go straight down and go to McKinley West. So what's the party inside? Uh, there's some party going on there. On Monday morning. <laughs> Monday morning. <laughs> Classic Pinas. <laughs> Now that we've found the real boundary and border of BGC, we'll now show you how long it takes to get to McKinley West. So, let's go. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I can see the sign McKinley now. Is that the park McKinley West I'm looking at, Jay? Yep, and it didn't take us five minutes yeah. to get From here. From the boundary of the real boundary. Yeah, the real boundary. And now the sign should be fully visible. You can read it out here, McKinley West. There it is. This is actually where a lot of the new construction condo units are being built. I don't have the exact name of the project that's right in front of us right now. Oh, sorry, just trying to dodge this tree. I just know that McKinley West on the whole is a, another mega world township 
which is kind of along the lines of McKinley Hill. And in, in regards to BGC, Mega World has projects in Forbstown, for example, and also Uptown Bonifacio. It still hasn't been 10 minutes, but you can see from across the street here, this is pretty much the condo developments of McKinley West. One thing that's noteworthy is they're actually not very high-rise buildings. Um, I guess you would classify them as medium-rise. Yeah, so if you don't want a lot of neighbors, you should probably go to McKinley West. But I think it would be very helpful if you have a car. I mean, it's walkable, but of course, if you have a car, it's much faster. So in the past, when Jenny and I have visited McKinley Hill and Venice Grand Canal Mall, we usually just walk back to BGC. We've gone down this road before. Remember when you were like walking here? It was night when we were going back home to BGC. You yep. took some, you took some clips, some some videos, and I was actually, or maybe it was you who was asking me, like, do you know what these condos are? And you just like kept on uh, taking videos because we have no idea what what it was. We're still walking straight down, and I can actually now see the next upcoming intersection, which is where you turn left to go into McKinley Hill. So Jenny, this stuff should all start looking very familiar. <laughs> I can see Italy. I'll be transported to Italy in a while. And if you turn right... Japanese buses. You can see from this shot that this area is actually very accessible by public transportation. There's a lot of buses that are stopping and jeepneys as well. And of course, the other exciting development is they are building a subway station stop. Oh yeah, there here. will be a stop here. Yeah, there's going to be two on Lawton Avenue. Uh, there's going to be an east and west one. But definitely, if you're a resident of either McKinley Hill or McKinley West, to my understanding, the stop here is going to be strategically located. So it's kind of a equal distance, uh, you know, doesn't matter which township you're in. So it It'll might be, be close by. It might be between McKinley Hill and McKinley West. Yeah, that's the plan anyway. Well, I can say that um, living in this area is much more accessible with public transport because you have more options. There are buses, jeepneys, and you know, once the subway is done, you have that too. We're going to cross the street here. Jay lied to me. He said, in a while, we'll go to Italy. <laughs> I'm fried. <laughs> All right, we've made it over. We've crossed the street and now we're entering. Jenny, if you remember, we actually walked briefly here. Yeah. And Jenny was pointing out there's a lot of uh, BPOs. BPO companies. Yeah, and, and call centers. And I think she even has friends that work in one of these buildings. They're um, probably still there. So for more background info, Jenny, what is uh, TELUS exactly? TELUS is a BPO company, a call center company. So they have a lot of our clients there, but I think they focus probably mainly with um, telco. They cater to foreigners. Well, I will say McKinley West has nice pedestrian crossings. I really don't know how you guys name your streets. <laughs> let's, add Ke let's, let's ask Kevin Tan. It's just a lot of references to um, like Western names, right, and yeah. places. I think Jenny has a lot of experience living in like Kubao. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I should take you to Kubao. It's yeah. so funny because all the streets in Kubao, they're all named after American names or American cities. There's like, what, Manhattan and... New York, New York. New York, New York. <laughs> New York, this is uh, the most popular one. I'm here at New York, Kubao. <laughs> <laughs> Well, one thing about working here is they have a TELUS, right? And yeah. now directly in front of us is a teleperformance. So Jenny, that's what, another BPO? Or? Yeah, that's another BPO. So you would imagine if you have like so many workers here, they must have a lot of you know, convenience stores and they restaurants. So we're still trying to locate our first one. <laughs> And now we're crossing the street because Jenny saw a sign and it got her excited. <laughs> I saw a big elephant. See, it's a red big elephant. I've never seen a red elephant, okay? The red elephant looks mad, see? The red elephant's like, whatever. <laughs> it's Monday after all. Welcome to Asia, Asia Town. Town. Oh, what a beautiful music. Oh, what is this guy? Oh, this is China. That's a dragon, right? Like a night out. 
area. Yeah, almost like a mercado kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Where you have a lot of street foods. But it's still cool to like, you know, sit down here though, because it's windy and it's actually cold because there's like a lot of trees. Here you go, Bun Mi Kitchen. Oh, Nam. Vietnamese food, yes. Nam represent. And Starbucks, of course. Starbucks is everywhere in the Philippines. Everyone needs their cafe. It looks like this area is um, all are all banks because I see Metro Bank, Video Union Bank. Wow, it's so quiet here. Yeah, that's one other thing you quickly notice when you're walking down McKinley West. Yeah. There's a lot of corporate towers. We just left the area of banks. Mm -hmm. And now there's like nothing else in sight. It's just us. It doesn't feel like NCR to be honest. This is very elegant. Well, it looked like I see a, like a subdivision there, but they're called McKinley West as well. It's gated community. Yeah. We definitely don't belong there. This is looks like prime real estate. Yeah, they're like houses, not condos or apartments. No, definitely not condos. They're either townhouses or just probably just a house and lot, right? Yeah, they look really big. It's more of our bag, you know, that thin looking building there. These look like they're completed projects from Mega World. We can uh, probably make out the names from here. Oh, you know what else is very nice here? I can learn how to drive here <laughs> because the roads are so big and no one is here. Oh, this is perfect for Jenny. <laughs> Jenny should oh. uh, start looking for units. <laughs> I, should I should really learn how to drive if I live here though. Wow, I didn't know that a whiskey should have a park. Is this a hobby of rich people? So if there's a dog park, there's a whiskey park. <sighs> I need some whiskey. <laughs> And we are now standing at the corner of Chateau Road and McWest Boulevard. And right behind us is St. Moritz. Private estate. <laughs> yeah, it looks like pretty much complete, but I still see some construction going on. But um, maybe it's just like minor constructions. Wow, the weather really turned, huh, Jenny? I know. <laughs> it was so sunny, uh, you know, just like a few minutes ago. And then all of a sudden, like the... It looks like it's going to rain any minute now. Yeah, the thunderclouds are back. We're going to hurry. You can actually see more condos under development by Mega World. And it also looks like for St. Moritz, there's the two towers that we showed here. And in addition, there's this third one right over here, which we're gonna walk towards now. Yeah. Sorry. Why? I hit you in the head. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Jay's so intense. <laughs> Wow, I wonder how many hectares McKinley West is. I actually, I actually looked into it before we started the walking tour. Oh. Yeah, so for context, BGC is 240 hectares in size. Wow. That's really big. So um, McKinley West and McKinley Hill put together is about 85 hectares, mm -hmm. which would be like one third the size of BGC. Yeah. And I think for McKinley West, it's 34.5 hectares, whereas Venice, uh, which is a part of McKinley Hill, uh -huh. that area is about 50 hectares. So, so we've reached the end of the road. We're at gate two of McKinley Village right now. McKinley West Village. Sorry, McKinley West Village. And I get... actually asked the, the guard. And now we've reached the end of the road. So it looks like we're going to have to make a turn around here, which should put us back on Lawton. What's beside those grass, uh, behind those grasses? I think it's a golf course. Oh, it's the golf course. And that's ng McKinley West. Tapos yung kabila is golf course na yan. Saan po yung punta nyo? Ay hindi, nagtutur lang ka sa Makinli West. Alright, now we're just gonna walk back towards Lawton. 
which is where we started this journey to McKinley West. And for some reason, the guards are extra nice today. They answer all my questions. They didn't shoo me away. What did you just ask them, Jenny? I just asked them if this is like the end of McKinley West. Well, technically the start if you came from the 5th Avenue, the yep. PGC. On this side here is a golf course. Do you know how to play? I can learn. <laughs> yep, and here's the sign of McKinley West, which we were shooting from across the street earlier. Just trying not to get hit. <laughs> All right, guys, looks like we've reached the end of McKinley West. This is where we started, and I think this is the end. Hopefully, we showed with this walkie tour, it is possible to get around without a car. But, you know, as <laughs> Jenny can probably attest, she's probably quite a bit tired. And <laughs> I'm very tired. And we still have to walk back. But anyways, thank you guys for joining in on this episode of BGC Dreams. Hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel below. Until the next vlog and the next walking tour, hang on. See ya.